Hey everyone, Alex Ionescu here. Welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy. Tesla will have both a robot taxi and a $25,000 car. This is the product that makes Tesla a $10 trillion company. People will be talking about this moment in a hundred years. Although before we start, if you find this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you crashed the like button and subscribed to my channel. It's totally free and takes just a split second. If you want to show more appreciation, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Now, let's dive right into it. Tesla stock price, past 5 days, down 3.45%. Year to date, up 130%. Past 5 years, up 1162%. Another excerpt from biographer Walter Isaacson's book on Elon Musk shares new details about Tesla's next generation vehicle platform, including plans for a different build location than the automakers previously reported. Elon Musk has long believed that self-driving cars would do more than merely free forks from the drudgery of driving. They would, to a large extent, eliminate the need for people to own cars. In November 2021, Musk gathered his top five lieutenants in Austin to brainstorm this future over an informal dinner. They decided that the robotaxi would be smaller, less expensive, less speedy car than the Model 3. Our main focus has to be volume, Musk said. A central challenge was figuring out how to design a car with no steering wheel or pedals that could meet government safety standards and handle special situations. Week after week, Musk waited in on every detail. What if someone forgets to shut the door of the robot taxi when they get out? He asked. We have to make sure it can shut its own doors. How would a robot taxi get into a gated community or parking garage? Maybe it needs an arm that can punch a button or take a ticket, he said. We want to make sure we are assessing the risk with you. Tesla's longtime chief designer Franz from Holzhausen told Musk. If we go down a path of having no steering wheel and FSD is not ready, we won't be able to put them on the road. He suggested that they make a car that had a steering wheel and pedals that could easily be removed. Musk just shook his head. The future would not get here fast enough unless they forced it. Small ones, von Holzhausen persisted, which we can remove pretty easily and design around. No, Musk said. This will be a historically mega-revolutionary product, he said. This is the product that makes Tesla a $10 trillion company. People will be talking about this moment in a hundred years. As the robotaxi discussion showed, Musk could be fiercely stubborn. At the end of the summer of 2022, after Musk made his pronouncement about being all-in on robotaxi with no steering wheel, von Holzhausen, and others at Tesla set about persuading him to cover his bet. We brought him new information that maybe he wasn't fully digesting in the summer, says Lars Moravi, one of Tesla's top executives. So it made sense to build a version of the car with a steering wheel and pedals. Musk himself had teased the possibility in 2020, but then he put on hold those plans. And over the next two years, he repeatedly vetoed the idea saying that the robotaxi would make the other car unnecessary. Nevertheless, von Holzhausen had quietly kept it alive as a shadow product in his design studio. Late on a Wednesday evening in September 2022, Musk ensconced himself in his longtime haunt, the windowless main conference room from the Fremont factory. Moravian von Holzhausen led a few top members of the Tesla team in for a secret meeting. They presented data showing that in order for Tesla to grow at 50% a year, it needed to have an inexpensive small car. The global market for such a car was huge. We convinced him that if we built these factories and we have this platform, we could churn out both robotaxi and $25,000 car all on the same vehicle architecture, von Holzhausen says. After this meeting, Musk and I sat alone in the conference room and it was clear that he was unenthusiastic about the $25,000 car. It's really not that exciting of a product, he said. When one of these comes around the corner, he said, people will think they are seeing something from the future. 
The new mass market vehicle, both with a steering wheel and a robot taxi, became known as the next generation platform. Musk initially decided that Tesla would build a new factory in northern Mexico, 400 miles south of Austin, designed from the ground up to build such cars. Tesla engineering will need to be on the line to make it successful, and getting everyone to move to Mexico is never going to happen, he told me. So in May 2023, he decided to change the initial build location for the next generation cars and robot taxis to Austin, where his own workspace and that of his top engineers would be right next to the new high-speed ultra-automated assembly line. Throughout the summer of 2023, he spent hours each week working with his team to design each station on the line finding ways to shave milliseconds of each step and process. I think in the last Investor's Day, Elon Musk said that Tesla will try some advertising and see how it goes. Calvin on Twitter, think I just saw my first Tesla ad. Cool, right? I'd like to know your opinion on all of this. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please smash the like button so that other people like you see this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.